Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and this is the walkthrough of Let It Be Travel Journal. This is Graphic 45's um, travel journal that they have available, and I used um, Graphic 45's Let It Be, I'm just in love with this collection, to cover this travel journal. Much of the inspiration taken for, uh, almost all of the inspiration taken uh, for this album came from Graphic 45's uh, monthly kit. Um, I did make some changes. Um, so it's um, it's from Carla, who's also a design ambassador from Graphic 45. So this there is a detailed tutorial available on the Graphic 45 site, and then if you want to make the slight changes that I made, there will be a tutorial on our site as well. So thanks everybody for stopping by and taking a look at this. So first of all, one of the changes I made is I added um, a ribbon to the side to tie the journal closed. This is pretty much exactly as it is in the Graphic 45 album by Carla. And there's our side spine. And then I added this sticker right here and it kind of helps soften the grommet that's back here that comes as part of the Graphic 45 journal. And then I add a little bit of ribbon here just to soften the edges where the grommets are. Okay, on the inside there is an insert. And again, this is taken from Carla's design. So I use the same papers, the same design here. Set that aside. And then we've got Life is Beautiful. I made uh, slight changes. She had a sticker here. I didn't add the sticker. I added a couple of decorative pieces here. Then on the inside of the first notebook, I added these inserts. So she did something a little bit different. Um, she's got inserts, but they open up. Um, and this is just a flat photo mat. And then I have a couple of um, decorative pieces here. And then in the middle, I added this journal card. And then on the back, I just added this little strip. And then in the back of the first notebook, there's also another photo mat or journaling card. Okay, that's notebook one. Notebook two, I added uh, this sticker and this sticker and I put it on black cardstock to mat it. And then on the inside, we've got another photo mat. I think that looks really pretty. Um, I added uh, a little tab here on the first page of the second journal. And this is a stamp that's been backed with cardstock and then this is a cut apart. Okay. And then I added a couple of stickers here. And then on the last page, I added a little detail and then another insert. Okay, this is our third album. I add a little tab here. We've got an insert. And there is a sticker here. This is fussy cut from the collection collection pack of one of my scraps. The center page has a small ephemera card. And then I have a sticker on the back. Another photo mat. And all my stickers were backed with cardstock um, just to make them rigid. And then also so I have the option to tuck things behind it if I want to. Okay, and that is the third photo, uh, third notebook. And then here's our back cover to the album. I've got this photo mat so you can stash a little ephemera card and then you can also po post some photos here. And there's the back side and we've got just this little sticker and I think that just worked out perfectly. Isn't that pretty? Um, I'll be teaching this class at Scrap and Escapes in April on the 8th. Um, I think it's on the 8th or the 9th, one of the two. I'll be at the uh, retreat for the whole weekend, but um, I'll be teaching this class. And um, I look forward to seeing you if you're there. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this, this very small, fast project. The tutorial should be up shortly. Thanks for tuning in.